there's a father for a man and he's wearing a white shirt and he's got a beard and there's a father that's standing right beside you. Well, I'm hoping so, my love, and you're just taking a pick glass away as a gulp. Um, but that's not going to escape you from this. May I just say, um, just before I begin, can you relate to your lovely father past, sir? Yes. Good, because I just know that's where I'm being drawn towards. Um, and I know that uh, you don't mind me saying, I mean, obviously, again, I don't know any of you, but I don't feel that you would be one to be open for this, or that you're, I want to say you're a complete hard skeptic. Um, and that's okay, you know. Um, but it doesn't mean to say that your father doesn't want to make the connection tonight, and to remind you, because, you, I mean, your father, he was a lovely man, but he was very much... It was a wee bit tough, if you don't mind me saying, sir, you know, I don't want to have him to be this lovely husband, soft and gentle and easy. And, and I'm not saying your dad didn't have those traits, but his character feels to be a bit more lenient or a bit more, you know, I don't get this huggy and I love you and True. I'm not getting that kind of dad, if you get what I'm trying to say. It's very much, he was still present in the family home, but you more or less had to sort of get yourself up and out. And, and he's talking about where... You must be involved, sir, in businesses or a business, or you must work for yourself, don't you? Yeah. Yes, because I know your dad is very proud of the accomplishments and the achievements, and because he wasn't one of those dads of, you know, well done, son, he's just saying to you tonight, you tell my son, I am so proud of everything he's accomplished, and he says he has done really well for himself, and he's just pointing, not that you need everybody to know that, but there you go. Um, thanks for everybody after I finish. Um, but no, he's just, he's proud because he showed me you put the labour, the work in, the effort, the determination, all of that. And, and your dad, by the way, he's passed a number of years. He's not yes. there as a new arrival or someone uh -huh. just gone the last even sort of two, five years. He's, he's, he feels like he's gone quite a while because he's not, and may I say, he feels that he would have went quite quick, where the family yeah. never got to say goodbye. Sorry. They never had that preparation where this lovely husband, he's all got to be around him and, and take care of him. Your dad didn't. You know, he just, he, he, he dropped dead. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but I know that the quickness is definitely there. But he is saying, regardless of how he passed and that suddenness, it's important for you to know that he is still around and that he still loves you tonight and that he's proud of you and he's he's happy and he showed me you're at a bit of a crossroads where your business is concerned and you're a little bit unsure about um i know this it's i'm not going to get too personal because that's not what this event is maybe if it was doing a private reading yes but he's trying to say that you're debating whether to maybe close part of it and, and maybe just focus on more there seems to be a lot of like you know balls in the air like you're sort of throwing ideas around you're not like completely steady at the minute and, and he knows that and he's just saying things will work out in the avenue that you choose to go down and, and not to be afraid to let one part go yes true do you get it all uh -huh, good stuff good so I know that he's, he's keen to let you know that a lot of your dad is connected absolutely, tonight. Absolutely, yeah. And, and more importantly because you've came here a sceptic. Yeah. And, and I know that even before I began. <laughs> but yet your dad is standing right next to see your left side. Uh -huh. That's where he's standing right there. Right. And, he's, and he's lovely and he's not as hard as what you remember him to be. Now he wasn't too tough. Yeah. I think in your younger years, you just maybe got a wee bit more, you know, the odd sort of, you know, a, a stick or maybe the odd hand. Yes. Um, but he is the red hand of Ulster. Uh, but I just know here he is saying that he's, he's a lot more softer and, and that's why he wants to bring that wee connection. And the main message for you tonight is work will work out and, and just relax. And I'm even going to say, here he is, Angela, I never said these words. He said that very many people, he just said, I love you, son. I love you so. And he says, you never got to say that. He says, and I'm proud of you, and I love you. That's what he said. Anyway, I know I never, I wasn't a perfect daddy. And I know that you fell out with me for a little period of time. Didn't you? Yeah. I know. And he says, but things are okay now. And I'm putting things right again. And, and he said, and that's why I'm trying to connect. Because for a long time, you held a lot of anger over your dad and he doesn't want you to have any more resentments and that's why he's acknowledging the accomplishments and, and you know the success that you've had but you've come to this stage now that your time is important and you're focusing on what you want to do with your time and that's why your dad's coming through in that way will you take his absolute love for you sir 
And, um, and please know more than anything, you are not on your own. Thanks a million. Well done. Thank you.